I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I've, I've got the same same issue at the moment. I've got, uh, my, like I said, I, I started, uh, I, sp I spent my last session coaching my two daughters today and and um, my oldest daughter's 13 and same thing. She, she gets everything right when we're doing it slowly. Um, she's, her technique is really good. And then as soon as we go into the nets and I throw it to her, she kind of loses it. So totally get what you what you're getting it and i totally understand that it can be frustrating because you know actually what they can do and then they just forget it when it comes to game time i think the biggest thing is that we have to remember they're still kids even at the age of 13 and i think sometimes our expectation of them is a little bit high so first of all i think we've got to just take a step back take a breath i had to do it today honestly and just go okay how am i going to get the best out of the situation because i know she can hit it i know she's she's got it in her um, and she just freezes up a little bit when I'm um, throwing or the boat is bowling it in the net. So um, I don't think you necessarily have to go back to the basics because they've got it. I think you've just got to slow it down and, and, and get them to relax and also don't worry too much about and, and don't focus too much on the actual technique. Um, because they're doing it right when you've gone through the different um, lessons and they're actually getting it right, they actually understand what it is. At the end of the day, when you're batting, let's say, for instance, it's actually just about hitting the ball. Yes, we need our techniques to be correct, but sometimes we can overemphasize technique, okay? And then it can be too much for the child. And, and, and half the time, they, when they start to battle and freeze up, it's actually because they're thinking too much. So my suggestion and what I actually ended up doing with, with Hayley today was just, I said to her, you know what, just forget about all the stuff we've talked about and all the stuff that's in your mind, clear your mind. I've got the ball, you've got the bat, just see the ball and hit the bat. And even if the elbow doesn't stay up or the head's not quite in the place, just get them to start making contact with the ball. So you build their confidence. And then the minute she actually middled the ball, you could see the body language changed and she started feeling good. And then from there, it's, it is unfortunately just something that you've got to spend time with. And that's where the frustration comes in. And that's where we as, Parents, as coaches, as home coaches, we've got to understand that you got to, it's about time. It's about spending time. It's about throwing balls. They're not going to get it straight away. So it's about building their confidence. Let them feel good that they're actually hitting the ball and making contact. And then while they're doing that, just remind them about the, the little things and, and, and make sure that they are watching the ball first, that they are keeping their head still. Because often they lose their, their form and and what they're meant to be doing because they're actually not watching the ball 100%. So I think that when you say go back to basics, I think that's the most important thing is carry on throwing the ball at them, let them hit it, okay? But just make sure and, and, and encourage them to just to keep watching the ball and keep their heads still. Um, as they grow, you won't necessarily see the results of the work you're putting in now from a technical point of view. But as long as you keep reiterating and emphasizing those little things that they've got to do, you will start to see that later on. It doesn't happen overnight. So it's definitely a, a perseverance thing. It's definitely a patience thing. And it's actually about building their confidence because they will soon see your frustration and they will soon start to get frustrated and despondent because they're not getting it right. And even if it looks terrible, but they're hitting the ball, encourage them. So, hey, geez, you're hitting it out the middle. Um, Sir Donald Bradman, uh, the, arguably the greatest test cricketer of all time, Never had a perfect technique. He hit the, he, his bat wasn't straight. He never played with a straight bat. So bear that in mind. Obviously, we want our kids to be as technically correct as possible. But at a young age, it's more about them hitting the ball and making contact and the hand-eye coordination. So if they're battling to, to actually make contact with the ball, go and do some of those hand-eye uh, coordination drills. That'll obviously help them a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't want to go on too long. I think I've covered it. Um, Robert, I don't know if there's anything you want to add in there or if I need to clarify anything with that question. No, I think I think you've done a pretty good job, Hepa. I think you can kind of, you know, just just sum it up again, which which actually, sorry, you, you, you kind of already have in that it's really just about patience and building their yeah. confidence and repetition. Like things take time to come to come right. And and the reason why those drills are so good all the drills that we've given in the preseason um, and in the fundamentals and stuff is that um, it, it starts just building that muscle memory. And from that, it, it, those are simple stuff. You then start start applying them actually in a net 
facing a ball and it gets a bit complicated but because they've already got the feeling if you just keep with the repetition and keep realigning them and be patient and build confidence that will eventually come right um and you've got to you've got to allow you've got to allow yourself to just not get frustrated be patient and and trust the process um so I, I, you know obviously another thing that we can suggest is 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 video them and i think you spoke about this yesterday when we were just discussing the questions um is to video them you can yeah. send them in to get some feedback from from me to say you know am i actually seeing this right or, or is she you know what is she doing wrong but also to to help get your point across yeah. to to the child um is, is to to video can them and can, yeah please go for it yeah, so I think I think you're heading there. That is that is a, it's it's a it's a great way to kind of take yourself out the situation where you if you can video them um, where they where where you can get them we can video them doing it correctly and then video them doing it wrong and you let them watch it because then they can actually see what they're doing as opposed to trying to think what you're telling them to do. So uh, that 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 visual is is unbelievable. And once they see it, you'll see them suddenly start to to get a little bit better so if you are able to like rob said try and video um whatever they're battling with um film it and let them sit and watch through it and then you can while they're watching through it you can ask them don't tell them what they're doing ask them to point out what they think they've done wrong and why the ball's gone where it's gone or why they missed the ball and then when they've played a good shot ask them to point out you know what they've done right and it starts to get them to actually teach themselves um, and it kind of takes you kind of out of the picture and because that's ultimately what you want to do um, is you actually want them to work it out for themselves and the sooner that they can start doing it uh, for themselves obviously the sooner they're going to start getting better and they get confident at what they're doing so yeah thanks for bringing that up Rob I actually forgot to mention that when I was chatting so yeah, um, yeah and then if you if you have got some stuff that you're really concerned about and you're not sure about how to fix send it in and we can have a look at it and see where we can help um, but I think, like you said, Robert, the most important thing is it's just, I know it's frustrating, but it's, it's, it's really important that we don't get frustrated and understand that it is a process. And if you just stick to, the, stick to that process and you're patient with them, if you need to go back to underarm throws, go back to underarm throws and then progress and just trust that the process will pay off. And in the end, they will, you will see the benefits down the line. You might not see it straight away. And and I, I'll be honest, I've I've had to tell remind myself that now with my with with Haley because I know what she can do. She got she got a second baller uh, on Saturday last week, um, and it was just a straight up and down ball. And she played across. I had to remind myself that I did the same thing the night before in, in a day night game. Um, <laughs> so so she did that, and it's and it's was frustrating for me. But I actually had to let it go and just go. That's cricket. That's what happens sometimes. We went back to the net today and we worked on stuff, and I could see her getting frustrated because she's not quite hitting it, but she was overthinking it. So we just went back, and I just let her hit some balls. I threw some underhand balls. She started smacking it. She started getting confident, and I didn't worry about the technique. I just said to her, "Just remember, it's it's you." got the bat the bowler's got the ball and you just need to make contact so if you can get back to there and then start to build their confidence and then slowly just start applying the little technical excuse me the little technical things as you grow you will start to see a difference 